Hello everyone, this is Mock, and I'm here with another video about Last Fortress Underground. In today's video I will share with you my recruitment and hero ascending of this week, as well as how has been the evolution of my formations along the time I've been playing Last Fortress. But first, if you like my video, don't forget to like it after watching it. You know, I will be very grateful. This week's recruitment was pretty good. 30,000 recruitment points, 700 friendship points, and I spent 30 raffle tickets at the Summit recruitment. I got one Ricardo, two Victorias, one Penny, one Mira, one Bolton, one Harman, one Roland, and one Laurel, plus a booty at the Summit recruitment. With these fragments, I was able to ascend Victoria to Mystic and Harman to the max. When I first started playing, like many others, I made many mistakes promoting my heroes wrong and building the formations not thinking much about game mechanics or synergy between the hero abilities. You know, the basics, two tanks, one support and two attack heroes. My beginner's lineup was Coleman, Irma, Kinogawa, Alisa and Rebecca. As we know, when you're not a big spender and you stick with what you get in the recruitment, these are the heroes you can have at the start of the game. It's a formation with two blue tanks but they are tough. Alisa as support and group attack hero like Kinogawa plus Rebecca who can hit with a good critical damage. Not the best, but a decent formation. Then I was discovering some secrets and when I found out that new heroes were coming in S1, I started to gather and stack recruitment points. That's when my strategy of collecting points for the beginning of seasons was born. I leave you the link of that video in the information box. Before continuing, let me show you who's sponsoring this video. Tired of looking at those bundles and offers that you just can't reach? With Paxify you can get up to 30% discount on the purchase of your bundles. In my country, for example, the value of this bundle is $138. With Paxify, the same bundle cost me $89.99 thanks to their 10% discount over the USA price of bundles. We can use our in-game tickets and get even more discounts. Hundreds of satisfied customers and top players prove to us how convenient it is. To start using it, enter their website with the link in the description box and they will direct you to their Discord where you can open a ticket. Someone from the team will contact you and guide you to start your Paxify experience. Link your account to ion 30 so it is safe and you always keep control of it. Then you will be ready to start saving. Don't wait more to start improving in the game. Buy smart, do it with Paxify. Let's continue. At the start of S1, I got enough fragments of Rogers to put him gold with two stars at the very beginning of the season. Thus, my formation became Coleman, Irma, Alisa, Rogers, and Rebecca. I learned that in the hero ascending, all fragments have to be ascended only to orange and not further and only ascending to gold the green or blue heroes when I need them as a sacrifice to ascend heroes of my formations. This way I managed to bring Coleman and Irma to the maximum, keeping them as a tank. Although later I removed Irma to put Alisa as a substitute tank and thus add another attack hero, so I put Kinogawa back in. My formation was still lacking attack over the back row, since Rebecca losses that chance when the enemy's tanks have their agility adjusted to attract Hers and Kelly's attacks. Little by little, my other heroes were improving. In S2, I got some Ricardos, but not enough to put him in the second track, that was slowly being set with Vindicators. In that moment, my third track was only for gathering. By the end of S2, I moved up Benson to my main track, when he was already golden with 3 stars and his skills at level 5. So now the formation was Coleman, Alisa as a substitute tank and support, 
Benson for group attack, Rogers and Rebecca trying to make up for the lack of attack to the back row, with Rogers already ascended to Mystique. I went to S3 again with about 60,000 recruitment points after stacking them for about 4 weeks. I got a good amount of Mira fragments again, which allowed me to quickly pull Alisa out of the formation and put Mira in there. At the end of S3, I was able to get Bolton to mistake one star, so he replaced Coleman, leaving the formation with Bolton, Mira, Benson, Rogers and Rebecca. In the beginning of S4, I got some Buccaneers, but not enough to allow me to put him in the second track. Also, I was still using my skill medals, mainly to complete the skills of my main heroes. I did upgrade my Blanche to two-star Mystique and switch Rebecca for her to get a strong attack over the back row. With that, my main truck was now Bolton, Mira, Benson, Rogers and Blanche. Here I managed to put the lower lock on Blanche, so that she attacks at the end of the round and act kind of like Galante by attacking the back row when the other heroes already have attacked and weakened the heroes of the back row. In S5 I think I had my best recruitment. As it happened with Rogers and Mira, I got enough fragments of Haytex at the beginning of the season to put him on gold and 3 stars. With the contract, I moved him to Mystique and as I was stacking skill medals for a while, I immediately put him in the lineup leaving Bolton, Mira, Haytex, Benson and Rogers in the main track. I took Blanche out, who was my back row attack hero, because Haytex can give more to the formation. He is a hero with a massive group attack, which also, when we manage to make him attack before the other heroes, makes the others increase their damage. So giving him set parts with luck attributes, or setting points from his statue to increase luck are good ideas. It is also not bad to place him at the front so the super core set of our formation makes him load the focus ability in the first or second round. Of course, to do this, he must have a good resistance to damage. With this, I moved Blanche to the second track, in which I already had Enrique maxed out, a Mystic Ricardo, and I added Kelly, Galante and Blanche. When I went to the Dimensions, I first went for Chu at the Summit Recruitment to complete my Vindicators lineup and once Buri came out, I started working on him. So then I was working in the second track, which is all Vindicators now, and as I was improving other heroes, I was also setting the third track, but always in Waterfall. That means always working first in the main track. I kept the heroes of the second track no higher than level 70, and with skills level 4. When the first track had the heroes at level 100, I started to upgrade the second track. When the skills of the first track were all level 5, I started using the medals in the second track, and so on to the third track, and now I'm working in the fourth one. Well guys, I hope my experience can be helpful for you. As always, join my Discord and follow me in my other social media. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and activate notifications so you know when I upload new content. This is Mock, I wish you all a great day, bye bye.